Hey team, we're, we're working on another centroid with composite shapes. The problems are getting harder and harder. So this one is going to deal with volumes. We're talking 3D this time, okay? Find the centroid of the given item, X bar, Y bar, and Z bar. I think what I want to do again is I want to use my table method, but I think step one is I want to break these into shapes, okay? So I've got two triangular prisms and two uh, rectangular prisms. Now I'm gonna divide this rectangular prism like this, okay? So that, that rectangular prism goes all the way through behind there. So there's the back of it back there, okay? So this rectangular prism sits to that side of it. That's important to know that, okay? So here I go, I'm gonna make this shape one, shape two, shape three, and shape four. And it's really nice if you'll label your shapes that way, if somebody's grading your paper, they'll know what the heck it is that you were thinking when you did what you did, when you have it all messed up, but it's easier to grade. Maybe you'll get extra partial credit if you miss it. But we're not gonna miss it. Here's what we got for our thing. We got to X bar, Y bar, Z bar, V, this time we don't have A, we have a V, XV, YV, and ZV, okay? So there's our table top part, and then the bottom is we have four pieces, one, two, three, four, okay? So there's our, there's our table. Okay? All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, now I'm ready to go. All I have to do is put the right stuff into my table. And if you remember, X bar is the sum of the Y, the Y, duh, the X A's over the sum of the A's. Y bar is the sum of the Y A's over the sum of the A's. Z bar is equal to the sum of the Z A's over the sum of the A's. Why am I putting A's on there? We're doing V's this time. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all are supposed to be fixing this. All right, V, 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 V. We're talking volume, not areas this time. Okay, and those things will come from here, right? Some of the V's will come from there. Some of the X, V's from there. Some of the Y, V's from here. And then the sum of the Z, V's from this last column. Okay, let's see if we can get the right stuff in our columns. Here we go. All right, so here we go, piece number one. What is X bar for piece number one? Okay, you've got to just move your hand in the X direction and go, okay, where in the X direction is X bar? I've got a right triangle in the X bar direction, so it's gonna be at one third the base, which is one, but all dimensions are referenced from the origin. So how far do I have to go from the origin to get out there to the triangle? I've got to go um, three, plus six, I've got to go nine just to get there, and then another one to get to the centroid, so that guy is 10, okay? What is Y bar for shape number one, okay? Y bar is in this direction. Well, shape number one, so in the Y direction, it's, it's half of the thickness, it's 1.5. And then finally, what is Z bar, okay? What is Z bar? Well, this thing is eight inches tall, so where is it? One third the height, which is eight over three. Okay. And then we'll do all the multiplication here in a minute, right? So let's go to piece number two. Okay, it's this rectangular prism, and it goes all the way to the back back here, right? Okay, so number one, what is X bar? Well. How wide is that prism? It's six plus three more is nine. So where is X bar? Half of that, 4.5.
okay? Where is Y bar? Okay, that's again this way, right? This way, and it's, and it's the thickness of that bar divided by two, isn't it? So that thing is three inches thick. So again, 1.5. And then what is Z bar? The height is eight. And so where's the middle of a rectangle? Halfway, so that's four. Okay, now we're on to shape three. Okay, now shape three is eight inches wide. So what is X bar? Well, X is in this direction, so it's gonna be half of the thickness. Again, it's three inches thick, so this time X bar is gonna be 1.5. Where is Y bar? Okay, Y bar for this shape is in the middle of this rectangle. So it's four, but I've got to measure from the origin. And I've got to go three inches just to get out to the, sil the rectangle, right? So three plus another four means that Y bar is seven. And then Z bar, where is it in the Z direction? Halfway, half of eight is four, okay? And then I've got my last one is shape four. Uh, shape four, what do we got here? What is X bar? Okay, again, X bar this way. So 1.5, Y bar this way. So to get over to the triangular prism, I've got to go three plus eight is 11 plus a third more, right? Plus one more, which is 12. And then finally, Z bar zoop, in this direction, it's eight tall. It's at one third the height. So that's eight divided by three, okay? Now we need V, we need to fill that in. Well, the volume for a triangular prism is the area of a side times the thickness. So one half base times height, so three times eight is 24, divided by two is 12, and then 12 times three inches thick, it's 36. This is the exact same prism, so shape number four, also 36. Then I've got a rectangular prism here that is six, nine inches long. So nine by eight is 72 times three wide is what? 70 times three is 210 plus six more is 216, right? Okay, danger when you do it in your head, you might get it wrong, but we're okay. Then this prism's volume, the rectangular prism here is eight by eight is 64 and 64 times three is what, 60 times three is 180 plus 12 more is 192, okay? Now we need to do all of this multiplying, right? We gotta multiply that times this, 360. That's probably the only one I can do. I need to go get my calculator now, right? 1.5 times 36 is 36 plus another 18 is 40, 54. And then eight over three times 30, let me go get my calculator. Okay, eight divided by three is 2.67 times 36 is 96. And then 4.5 times 216 is 972. And then 1.5 times 216 is uh, 324. And then finally four times 216 is 864, okay? 1.5 times 192 is 288. Seven times 192 is 1344. And then finally four times 192 is 768. And then 1.5 times 36 is 54. We're almost there. 12 times 36 is 432. And finally, 8 divided by 3 and then times um, 36. 96. Okay, so we just need to sum these columns, plug it in up here. And then we're going to be home free, aren't we?
Okay, let's get our sum of the V's. Sum of the V's is 36 plus 216 plus 192 plus 36 is 480. Okay, that guy's 480. That's 480. So 480 goes here. 480 goes there. 480 goes there. Now we got to get the top part. So 360 plus 972 plus 288 plus 54 is 1674. So that goes here, 1674. The next one, 54 plus 324 plus 1344 plus 432. That's 2154. That goes here. And one more. 96 times 2 plus 864 plus 768 equals 1824. So 1824. And let's see what we got. We got 1824 divided by 480 is 3.8. And these are going to be in inches, aren't they? There's Z bar. 2154 divided by 480 is 4.49. 4, 4, 4, 4.49. And then 1674 divided by 480. Finally, 3.49 again. There's no way. 1674, oh, that was 3.49, sorry. I was like, that's the same as the other one and it's different numbers. No, it's not. There you go. So there is the location of the centroid. X bar is 3.49, Y bar 4.49, and then Z bar 3.8. This is a nice way to keep your things organized. Again, junk in the table, junk for an answer, so be careful. All right, see you next video.